Are you a PhD? So, I'm a PhD. I like to think that I have my stuff together. I'm okay. beautiful. Okay. I have a great body. I just okay. turned 30. I don't have okay. any children. Um, okay. I work as a graduate assessor and I'm also a high school English teacher. Okay. And I am single. I was listening to the other day when you were talking about Tracy Ellis Ross. And I was a little like taken back at some of the things she said. Such so answer. I was trying to understand, like, even today you were saying like um, a woman shouldn't be her first focus should be on a man. And I just feel like if I sit around and wait for a man to do it, like I'm never going to grow or be a better person for that. Man. Um, even looking at statistics, like the amount of black men because i want a black man incarcerated the uh, amount uh, of uh, 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 hold on now so now i'm gonna stop it right here oh whoa, whoa 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 hold on this is a conversation i'm gonna shut this shit down right here 51 <laughs> percent of black men are single and childless 64 percent are in the middle class what you just said is an outright lie that has been disproven debunked for decades and you're still talking about it blackdemographics.com black statistics for black people by black people even debunks this so please ma'am stop repeating that lie i might have to fact check but those are fact check it all you want to i talk that's okay i say this because i'm a black man and when i hear black women repeat this lie it bothers me because you're going to give me 51% are single and childless. Do you believe that or not? I'm going to take you for, for your word. I'm asking you, do you believe it? Um, I believe something else until you told me that. that what, was percentage, what percentage of black men? Are, okay, please turn off YouTube in the background. And that's fine. But I need, if we're going to have a conversation. It has to be rooted in facts because you ladies love the facts that make you look good and the ones you're saying talk about black men are in jail and down low and all this other kind of stuff man that's an old trope that's been around since the 80s in daytime tv oprah sally jesse raphael donahue made millions and billions off of destroying black men and when i hear black women going right along educated black women going right along with this when all it takes is a simple google search and you can find blackdemographics.com just like the previous caller that i had to shut down when i said according to the cdc black men make the most involved active fathers and no no black men can't be shit so i mean let's i want let's move to shit so but I, let's I, but I, well, I the fact is 51 percent are single and childless and 64 percent are in the middle class so now what's the issue I mean, I guess I have to explore those things. I guess the issue now is... You. Me. So what's my issue? Well, what do you... Do you want to be married? I do. Possibly. But I'm happily what? single as well, so... Okay. Well, happily single, I'm, what does that mean? It means that if I never have the opportunity or meet the right person, I will be okay with that. Why would you never have the opportunity? Um... If I just didn't meet the right person that like made me feel special and love, important, treated me right, didn't cheat, all that stuff. So in other words, I feel like I got excuse me. Okay. Um. Well, if you first I asked you if you said you never have the opportunity, and I said why wouldn't you have the opportunity? You just skipped right on over to that to get into the finding the right person. Why wouldn't you have the opportunity to get married? Can you get married? Are you legally single? I am. Can you enter into a contract with the man in the state? Can you can you sign a marriage license? I can. I can. Then you have the opportunity to get married just like any of us. Let's but I'm not going to settle. Excuse me. Hold on. Okay. All right. Let's get into it. Since you want to smoke, I got it for you. I told you. I told you. I'm five five. Dress size. Seven. 
How much did you weigh the last time you weighed yourself? 170. I also have a 25 inch waist. <laughs> So five like, five. Listen, oh don't, look, don't. Look me up. Oh, first off, man, first off, here's one, here's one look simple rule. I heard I need. I oh, don't. There's one simple. No, rule. because that's. Hold on, man. One simple like. rule. One simple rule of my show is don't I don't care who. You. Yes, you cannot do that. I, it will go completely off the rails because that is just disrespectful. I agree. But but you are disrespectful. Excuse me. I said you you. You are disrespectful sometimes, but what I, I can be. Hold on, oh, no, ma'am. I can tell you one thing: uh-huh. as the host, it's not disrespectful to cut you off because I am running a show for forty-five hundred people. I don't know you. I'm trying to do ten different things, so this is my business. I'm running a show. If you consider me having standards and a systematic way I handle a show, disrespectful. Uh-huh. That's on you because I have plenty of women who love my show and watch it every day. But you seem to have a problem with the things I say, and that's your right. But don't call it disrespect because you don't like it. No, I think the way you respond sometimes to people, not cutting people off on your show that you're hosting is disrespectful. But what I was going to say is that um, your body standards and my body standards are what the American Medical the Association, the, the American Medical Association. I'm, first, of all, I'm a professional image consultant. So mm-hmm. your your opinions and you're fine. You can have those. But I go and by, I excuse me, as an image professional, excuse me. I'll see oh, there you go with this shit again. <laughs> I've told you don't do this. See, I could care less if you disagree uh-huh. Many black men, many black women disagree with truth and facts all day long. Many uh-huh. black women will say they're thick when they're obese. Eighty uh-huh. percent of black women are overweight. Is that true or false? Um, I'm, I haven't heard that statistic, but it's probably true. But I know that I have a twenty-five inch waist, and I okay. know that. So you're five I foot five. So a, you're five foot five, mm-hmm. right? I don't have a problem with. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma- I don't, <laughs> ma'am. I don't care about your pictures. I need you to listen mm-hmm. to some basic facts. Mm-hmm. In mammals, is it typical for the female of the species to weigh more than the male? No, but I don't like. All right, ma'am. Then I need you to go. To, so a man who's five foot five, how much should a man healthy weight five foot five weigh? Um, I'm not sure. However, I wouldn't. Date how much would a man at five. five foot five healthy weight weigh? Give me a ballpark. Guess. Probably what they should weigh according to the BMA, BMI chart or what they should weigh according to what I find attractive. Because I, what, I, I find what attractive you find attractive is irrelevant. I, and what you find attractive is irrelevant. I mean, just walking through society. Walking through through society of, of being... Just answer the question, ma'am. Woman and, uh, I, can you pounds. answer the question, ma'am? Can you answer the question? I think Bert, Bernice... Virgos. I asked you a five foot five man. I asked you a five foot. All right. I've told you several times. You're not going to talk over me. So I'm going to try this one more time. And if you're going to continue to do this, I'm going to bid you a good night. I I asked you to answer the question. And you just keep on saying what you want to say. I just ask you, be polite, ma'am. I'm trying to mm-hmm. be polite to you. Could you please answer the question? Just give me a ballpark. How much of the five foot five men weigh? Um, I was actually just looking at this chart recently, and I believe it's between 175 and 195. No, ma'am. No, ma'am, it's not. The average American man in 1960 was five foot nine and three quarters, five foot ten. And he weighed 165 pounds. The average mm-hmm. American female at the same time was five foot four, 120 pounds. Fast forward 55 years later, the average American man was still five foot ten, and his weight had ballooned up from 165 to a whopping 168. He gained three pounds in 55 years. Yet the average American woman went from 120 to 160, a 40 pound differential. There should roughly uh-huh. be a 40 to 45 pound differential between men and women. The average height of a black woman, average weight of a black woman in this country, five foot four, 187. 
80 uh -huh. of you are overweight and you think because you have a nice snatched waist and a big mm -hmm. ass and you like where the fat landed that that changes uh it changes the way the body is set up you're overweight for your for your height uh -huh. and bottom line you're way more than a man I don't weigh more than a man. I date. A man, if a man was your man. height, if a man was your height, you would weigh more than he does. You weigh more than the average American male who's five foot ten. Did you not hear me say that the average man is five foot ten, one sixty eight? You weigh mm -hmm. more than the average man in this country. And the average man in this country is in the my average DMs. man in this country. And you can have all your defiant attitude and not like it and challenge the BMI and the racial disparity, whatever, whatever. Doesn't matter. You're overweight for your height. I am. And I'm fine as hell. Well, good. Good. Knock, knock it off. You can be as fine as hell. And the problem you had with me saying Tracy Ellis Ross could not get a high value man and she's mm -hmm. happily being single is what? Oh, do you consider Tracy Ellis Ross overweight? It's her being her butt. I ask you, see, see, the proper thing to do, ma'am, is before you ask a question, you answer the question that's been asked. You don't uh, answer a question while asking another one. That's rude. You know, that's disrespectful. Mm -hmm. You're an educated I have a woman. You should know. Well, then you should know how to do it better than I do. I definitely do. Well, apparently, but you're not making a very good showing, ma'am, because you're being very rude and disrespectful as far as communication goes. You've done this many times. I've had to mute you twice. I'm a PhD. Huh? So the question was, answer the question. At this point, I don't remember the question. <laughs> right. So you have a degree in communication, but you can't keep up with the communication. I mean, it's a lot going on, sir. There's only, actually, <laughs> I'm right here. I'm, I'm, I'm on task. You're the one that said to have your degree in communication. I do. So sh show your work. I asked a question. What's the answer to the question I asked? I asked you the question again. <laughs> All right, right, right. So in other words, you are being disrespectful because you're not even paying attention to the person who's hosting the show and the question I'm asking. You want to say what you want to say so much. You basically said, fuck you and your question. I'm going to say what I want. All right. So you're happily single. Congratulations. Yeah. What else? I said, thank you. So what else would you like us to know? Um, I mean, I, be I believe that's it. <laughs> and you're how old again? Say that again for me. You said you're how old again? I'm 30. I just turned 30 this year. Mm. All right. 30 years old, happily single. Five foot five, 170 pounds, 25 inch waist, and all these other things. Uh, mm -hmm. But why, if you say you're happily single, but you'd be open to a relationship, which do you want? Um. So right now, I decided because I was dating someone, and I didn't. I got it. Can you make it short, please, ma'am? Like, there, ma'am. There are 4,700 people. Can you please kind of shorten it down? So we can go back and forth. Which one would you like? Which one do you want? Do you want to stay single? Would you like to be in a relationship or marry? Um, right now I'm focusing on me for a while, but after right. that, uh -huh. yeah, someday, someday maybe what? Maybe in a year. Maybe in a year I'll consider like dating and meeting someone, getting married. Uh huh. But have currently, you ever been? Have you ever been engaged? I have not. Okay. Um. Men, women control access to sex. Would you agree or disagree? I agree. Men control access to relationship and marriage. Would you agree or disagree? I agree. So just because one day you may decide you want to do it, do you think it could happen just because you may decide you want to? If I meet the right person, yes. No. You don't control that. We do. See, you ladies always talk about one day in the future, if I decide I want to, you don't control that. Men do. That's what old Tracy Ellis Ross is talking about. She's open. You can be open all you want to. No one wants to pick you. 25 inch waist and all. 
Mm. I mean, you've never been engaged to this point, right? I haven't dated anyone in eight. I haven't been in a relationship in eight Danger years either. Zone. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you for proving my point. I've been focused on me. Exactly. I, I, could, gym, I could not. I, I could not dream you up, ma'am. You are a exact. You are the the person I made this show about. You have no relation. You. It's difficult for you <laughs> even to hold a civil conversation with the man <laughs> who who challenges you. So yes, you haven't had a relationship in eight years because you're unfit for one. <laughs> But it's by choice. I have people pursue of course. me for it's, a relationship. Yeah. No, no, they pursue you for sex. Mm, okay. <laughs> they didn't pursue you to be married. They did not pursue you for being a wife. Knock that shit off. <laughs> okay. See, guys, remember the laughter is a tell. It's getting more pronounced the deeper the truths get because it's uncomfortable now. Oh, okay. I'm talking to the audience who can see what's going on, but you think you 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 think you're the shit. <laughs> I do. Good. And one day but somebody unfortunately, else will But too. unfortunately, the kind of man that you would want, the special kind of guy, doesn't seem to share your opinion. If he did, he would be trying to find you. He would have wifed you by now. Not That's after funny. you're, not when you're in, in your, because your youth is what men want. Your youth, your, your fertility, your womb. We don't want you when you're all past the wall and everything else so your sell by date has already happened but you were not fit for it and that's fine and women like you and Tracy Ellis Ross can say what you want but just <laughs> like her you sound delusional I'm you old at 30 no you're first off no you're you're, you're okay you're, you're at the wall at 30 but past 35 you enter what high risk pregnancy you do. The, okay. So your eggs are old. <laughs> uh, and as somebody who has not had a relationship in eight years, you're wholly unfit. Your relationship muscles have atrophy. This back and forth right here proves that you really don't even know how to hold this. Even a, I mean, even a civil conversation. You may have be able to have sex, but a relationship? No. So it's not as though you could just turn this shit on and off when you choose to. So mm -hmm. being happily single, you don't have any choice but to be single and be happy with it because you don't have a choice to not be. Oh, okay. Yeah. And that's why you're not cackling and laughing as much because the truth is set in. You don't have any options in this. Enjoy. I'm cackling and I'm a PhD. <laughs> I got a communication degree. Yeah. All that shit has not helped you one bit. It's not hard.